Hello guys. In this tutorial we are going to create this. It's simple looking data visualization. Or you can say bar graph animation. So without delay let's take action. Go to File. New. Select Profile to Web. And then change width to 1920. And height to 1080. Change name to whatever you want. Then select Rectangle Tool. And make Rectangle on Full Canvas. Set stroke to 0. Select rectangle. Go to object. And lock selection. Then double click on graph tool. New tab will open. And select these two check boxes. Select first graph type. And press OK. Hold left click and drag mouse to draw graph. Just like me. New sheet will open. Just like Excel sheet. Change first tab to what category you are looking for. I am setting it to category 1. Go to second tab and copy paste the same name. Till fifth tab. Now select first tab on second column. Set it to 100. Second tab to 50, third to 70, fourth to 85th, and fifth to 30th, just like me. Now go to first column and rename all categories just like me. Now click on apply. It will draw a new graph on your screen. Now select graph. Go to object menu. And ungroup. Press yes on that tab. Select your category. And change reduce font size. If it not fitting on graph. Change its color to white. Now select quantity numbers and change color to white. Select graph bars, and set stroke to zero. Set fill color whatever you want. I am changing it to orange. Select drop shadow, and change color to gray. Now go to Layers tab, and undock it. So this is our drop shadow, and this is our graph bars. Now go to first layer, and make five new layers. Click drop down arrow of shadow group and go to bottom layer, of that group. And start dragging layers, on the new layers, which you have created earlier. Drag them one by one on each new layer, just like me.
actually. Select drop shadows on canvas. And delete them. Because we will create. Drop shadow on After Effects. It was only to let you know. That we can create drop shadows on Illustrator. For graph. And now go to bars group. Go to last layer. And start dragging it. On layers which we created earlier. Do it one by one. On each layer. Just like me. Let's check all bars are correct. Go to layer 1. And delete blue background. And rename layer 1 to Axis. And save this project name at Bar Graph. And now, open After Effects. Go to File Menu. Import. File. Select Illustrator file which we have created. Set Import Kind. To Composition. And Footed Dimensions to Layer Size. Press OK. Go to Project Tab and you will see New Composition. Click on it. So it will open. Then right click on Comp Area. And make New Solid. Change color whatever you want. I am changing it to blue. Press OK. Move down that solid. To the bottom of all layers. Select first graph layer. Which is layer 2 for me. Then select pan behind tool. By holding control key on PC and command key on Mac. Drag anchor point. At bottom. Do same step for remaining graph bars. Go to beginning of timeline. Then select first bar graph layer. Press S key on keyboard to see scale property. Set keyframe on it. Remove constraint. And set Y position to 0. Go to 9 frames forward. And set it to 100. Now click Alt plus left click on scale keyframe. To open expressions. Then go to this link. You will find this link in video description. Copy this script. This is not my script but we can use it. Then paste it in on scale expression. And you will see this nice looking bounce effect. Go to beginning of timeline. Then copy these keyframes. And paste them on all remaining graph layers. Just like me. Now select first graph layer. And by holding shift key. Click on last graph layer. Which is layer 6 for me. Go to beginning on timeline. And go to animation menu. Keyframe assistant. Sequence layers. Check on overlap. Now this time we will need some calculations. So our timeline is 5 seconds long. So this is backward overlap. Count 5th second as 0. And back to 4 seconds. So set it to 4 seconds 20 frames. Let's take look on animation. Looks good. But it will look nice. If put drop shadow on it. So go to effects and presets panel. Search drop shadow. Drop it on to first graph layer. Go to effects controls tab. Set opacity 80%. Direction to 48 degree. Softness to 60. And distance 12. Now copy drop shadow effect. And paste it on remaining bar graph layers. Just like me.
And here we go.